Van of Dreams. New Orleans, the home of the Mardi Gras, and three years ago, site of the Final Four. But now the basketball news is happening a few hundred miles to the north. Vern Lundquist has details. Yes, sir. Perhaps the road to Lexington will wind its way through the serene pastures of northern Louisiana. Among the farms and churches of Lincoln Parish lies the town of Ruston. And Ruston is home to Louisiana Tech. If you know anything about Louisiana Tech, you know it's home to the Lady Texters, one of the best women's basketball programs in the nation. A program 11 years old without a losing season. The Lady Texters have developed a certain style, and the town of Ruston loves it. A national championship in 1981, and another in 82. The ladies of Louisiana Tech have been in the Final Four of the national tournament in each of the last six years. And last year, two Texters, Janice Lawrence and Kim Mulkey, gained international prominence, winning gold for the United States. The Lady Texters play their home games here in the Thomas Assembly Center. They have been the leading attraction in the arena since it was built three years ago, leading the nation by averaging more than 4,000 fans per game. But this season, things have changed. There's now an attraction drawing more folks from Ruston into this arena than women's basketball. It's men's basketball. It was always that in that situation for four years that I was there that the women outdrew the men. Now, sitting in the stands watching from a different perspective, I'm as, as much proud of our Bulldogs as I am of the Lady Texters. They're finally getting the recognition that they deserve. Every single place we've gone into, it's been their largest draw of the year and, and four or five times the largest draw in the history of wherever we played. <laughs> The Tech Bulldogs have been as hot as a local TV station's music video, freezing to the Southland Conference regular season championship with relative ease. All right, listen up. Fellas, out in the wings, we've got a pressure. Head coach three. Andy Russo went to work rebuilding Tech's basketball program six years ago, and last season his efforts were finally rewarded. Finally, you know, we turned it around really last year with our win at Lamar, uh, breaking an 80-game winning streak down there and uh, in the conference finals. It was a phenomenal win and just a phenomenal accomplishment for our kids and in front of, you know, as hostile a crowd as you'll ever see. Still reeling from the conference tournament win over Lamar, Louisiana Tech received its first ever NCAA tournament bid, surprising everyone by crushing Fresno State in the first round. They were eliminated by Houston, but Andy Russo had assembled a contender. Well, I think Andy is, um, I think he's a, a very good recruiter. I think he uh, can communicate well with his guys, um, and I think they respond to his, his type of coaching. Perhaps Russo's best accomplishment to date was the signing of Carl the Mailman Malone, the Bulldogs' leading scorer in each of his three seasons. I believe that we would not be ranked in the top 20 without Carl Malone. Uh, fans now, with all the teams and all the sports, they need individuals to identify with, and certainly he is, uh, he is the one that people identify with our program. Malone has won the hearts of tech admirers, but his most avid fan is his mom. Shirley Malone Turner cheers on the largest of her nine children at most home games. It's a short drive from the tiny town of Summerfield. At Summerfield High, Carl's senior class graduated just 15 students, and Carl was one of seven seniors on Summerfield's basketball team. He nearly ate his mom out of house and home on the way to three state championships. Anytime you saw Carl, he could show you a piece of bread, a biscuit, a coin. He always had it in his pocket. And uh, he would hide, when he get ready to go to bed, he would hide food on his mattress. I told him one day, I said, the ants going to eat y'all up. But Shirley Malone Turner has given in to Carl's hungry ways. She comes prepared. After most games, there's a sack with perhaps a potato pie, a gallon of milk, or some other goodie to keep the motor running in the mailman. Mostly she usually calls me for every ball game and see what I want, you know, and I, you know, I, she about know what I want. And when I, after the game, you know, she, she bring it to me. Louisiana Tech fans have made it clear what they hope the mailman can deliver. Ruston would like to see the men achieve the same prominence the Lady Texters have established. The women have now become the men's team's biggest fans and hope that both clubs can advance to the Final Four. For Ruston to have that happen 
would just be, I think, a, a wild thing. It would be, it would be great. That would be real great. It would be like a dream come true. Louisiana Tech President F.J. Taylor is cheering for his dream teams, too, even if tournament finals do pose some logistical problems. <laughs> I certainly hope that both teams end up in the Final Four, but if that should happen and it should be on the same date, half of me will be with the Lady Texters and half of me will be with the Bulldogs. No surprise, of course, that the men have already qualified for the NCAA tournament. We can take a